Hello again, it's Tubal Kane from Illinois. I know I've presented many, many videos on threads, and I suppose you're getting kind of sick of it, but here's yet one more. And today's video will deal with uh, repairing damaged uh, mail threads, or the external threads. Now, if the thread is totally stripped off and the metal is gone, there isn't too much we can do about it because we can't put the metal back on. But when they're just dinged up a bit or they got paint or they got rust on them, uh, that's the type of thing that we're going to deal with uh, here today. Or if uh, the threads are missing or really badly damaged just near the end and you still can draw your nut up or whatever you need to, to run up farther on the threads and you can't get the nut started, that's something else I'm going to show you here presently. I have here uh, a bunch of uh, tools that uh, can be used to repair threads and I'm sure there are many more than what I have here. The first ones we'll deal with are thread files and uh, these two here, I don't know if you've ever seen anything like that, uh, are thread restoring files and they on each hand, end of the uh, tool they have uh, four different pitches of uh, files for different numbers of threads per inch and there's one on the other so one of these is uh, coarse and one is a fine. I think you can get them in metric as well. And these are available at uh, industrial suppliers and maybe at automotive stores. But everybody has a three-corner file, a triangular file. And, of course, those angles are 60 degrees, which is what we uh, are dealing with with all of our common threads. And this is a... Uh, 60 degree, uh, it's called 60 degree universal thread file and uh, it's, I don't know if it's a whole lot better than a three corner file but I'm going to show you why you might want to use that. Now these can be used just on the bench or in a vise or on the lathe if you have a lathe. So we'll try a little bit of each. Okay we've got a 3 8 coarse thread in the three jaw chuck on my closing lathe and uh, we'll just use a three corner file. I'm running the machine at slow speed. So we're just filing uh, on the thread and uh, letting the uh, file follow the lead of the uh, screw thread and that works pretty good. You might have to go back over uh, several different times. And we can do the same thing with the uh, th thread restoring files. Now a common file cuts on the forward motion, that is away from you. But this uh, thread restoring file uh, threads are uh, cuts just the opposite that is like when you draw it toward you toward you so I like to run the lathe in a reverse using this that also helps you get started where the threads are good and run them out now you need to uh, move the thread or move the file too you can't just hold the file in one position the file must be drawn toward you and I was running the lathe in reverse using this one. Now I'm using uh, this multi-pitch uh, thread restoring file and it's made by a company called Nutrix and this is the number two and it has various pitches on it. There's also a number one and the one I've selected here is 16 threads per inch for this 3816 and these work away from you. These are quite effective, and they can be used, uh, if you don't have a lathe, just in a bench vise, like that. And you're going to approach the work at a slight angle, not perpendicular, whatever the angle uh, of the helix of the thread is. Now, the most common way of, of uh, cleaning up a thread, if there's rust on it or uh, uh, paint or something like that, would be just a common dye, and we've talked about that a lot, so this... Uh, there's a 7 16 thread and I'm just running uh, a die across it and uh, that is a, a very effective and uh, you know, one of the best ways if you can match the dies up with the threads. 
Now, if you're a mechanic, you're probably going to use these uh, rethreading dies. Uh, this is KD, and it's it's called uh, hex rethreading dies, and there's both coarse and fine in there. And you would run those across uh, the thread, and you can do that while uh, part of the uh, the part, or if it's a stud or something like that on an engine block, you would just use this, uh, not at the bench vice, but under the hood of the car, and put it on there, and uh, you could use a, a wrench or a socket with a ratchet or whatever you wanted to do. And those are only for cleaning up threads. They are not meant to cut threads. And you can see that they come in much larger sizes as well. And if you had a buggered up uh, thread on a this front spindle or the front axle of a car, you know, that's you'd have to match that up. I think those are special threads, and these would be available in metric also. Sometimes you have a thread that's damaged at the end of the bolt or the fastener, and if you attempt to clean that up with a regular die in this manner, uh, often your two threads, uh, you, you form a new thread is what, you, what happens, and then when you hit the old thread, it may strip off the old thread because you've started it in a different rotation. So one solution to that kind of problem is to take a regular die and cut it in half, and I did that with the Dremel tool because these are hardened. Uh, you need to select, this is a four fluter, so we can divide that by two, but if you end up with one that's like five, that isn't the type of die that you're going to be able to use. But assemble the die this way on the bolt. And uh, then bring the die stock up from the bottom. I'm going to tighten that in the little dimple there. And we're going to thread this from the bottom to the top, and that will clean up the thread. Again, it's not going to make a new thread at the top if the material is lost. But uh, this is a real good idea if you have the right kind of die. And when you're desperate, you don't mind spoiling a die to get through a job. I know initially I said that I was going to show you how to restore uh, external threads. We'll do one internal thread. This is a, also a thread restoring tool and we've got chasers in there and uh, there's more here on this clip so you have to put the correct chasers in with the right pitch and you know sometimes our threads get kind of buggered up on a lathe chuck or they don't get buggered up so much as they get filled with uh, chips. So this is a good way to clean that out. So we'll put that in there internally and now it's spreading out and I can run that in there and clean the chips. That's kind of a neat tool. You'll only use it once in a lifetime but may or may not be handy for some people. Here's another thread restoring tool. This is made by OT, OTC, which is, I think, Automa Tool Company. And uh, this is for large threads, like this. I mean, inch and a half and larger. And you might use this in truck repair or uh, tractor repair or something like that. There's a chaser right here. I put that one in to match up with this thread. And there are many more chasers right here of different pitches that can be uh, installed right here and they're just kept there for storage and then this opens and closes like a uh, with a screw and so you tighten that down and it's like a v-block right here now I'll put this in a vise and we'll put that to use this is an inch and a half thread and it's a uh, eight pitch so uh, I've got this on there and it's kind of like a uh, v-block and we would just turn this around and tighten this screw as necessary you know, as we go around until we get uh, the thread cleaned up. Now there wasn't anything wrong with this thread, but if you got a bad spot on it, that would be one way of doing it. And this probably would be used in uh, around very large equipment. Because I don't think it'll do handling anything smaller than, uh, than an inch. Uh, 